Hi everyone. So in this video, we'll try to create star trails from the video you just see on the screen where the stars are just moving. So to do this, we need two things. One is VLC Media Player and the other software is the Winchy. In case of VLC Media Player, first of all, go down to Preferences, go to All, scroll down and open up View and Filters and select screen scene filter. Once you select the scene filter, let the settings be as is. The negative one shows that the aspect ratio remains the same for the image. This process will actually help you to break down the images into a video into different image. So now we'll create a new folder called extracted images and we'll try to extract all the images from the video into this particular folder. Once we have done this, we will try to take the path of this particular folder and add it to the VLC media player setting so that once we run the video, we get all the extracted images in this particular folder. While we change the path over here, you can also see the recording ratio, which is set to one. That technically means that each and every frame will be dumped into this folder, which we are trying to specify. So once this is done, we can save it and then go back to filters again and just enable scene video filter so that this filter is applicable once the video runs. Close the VLC player, go back to the video, and then just open it up with VLC media player. The moment the video starts running, you can see it's a simple video showcasing the star's movement of the sky. But on the other hand, we are trying to pull down each and every frame into the extracted image folder. You can see over here that there are multiple frames at least 287 as of now and all these frames showcases the different position of the stars. Now we close this and then we need to go ahead and download a software called StarStacks and I will provide the link to StarStacks on this particular video description. Start the StarStacks Import all the images which you just generated in the extracted image folder into StarStacks. Once this is done, we'll just select the comet mode. You can select how long the trailing tails do you need. Subtraction of dark image, I've kept it over here, but it's not required since I don't have anything to subtract. And then after that, you need to go ahead and say save after each. So what happens is that it'll save after each integration an image which will have partial trails. And once this process is done, you can go down to the image folder and see that there are quite a new images generated which have partial tails and the tail grows as we go ahead. So when I say tail, it technically means the star trail. You can see how the trails are growing as I switch over the images. Now the only task left to do right now is to import all these images together and make a video out of it. So for that we have selected a software called the Wingy Resolve. I just downloaded the latest version of this and even before we start doing anything we'll first import our images into the system and then we need to make some changes in order to get our strip running. So now we go ahead click on the untitled project.
and once this opens up go ahead and import all the media files but do remember only to import the files which have start trails do not import the ones which do not have trails and just the points which are moving across in time Once you open these, you need to change a small setting in the WinG itself where you go down to the preferences in users section, go to editing and over here standard still duration. Instead of second select frames and keep it as one and save it. Once you do that, select all the images which are there on the media pool drag and drop them and once this is done you can run and see how your star trails look like once this process is done you can go ahead to quick export and export this video and save it into a folder of your choice There are quite a lot of options whenever you go ahead on quick export which i'll be showing you and there are tons of other options for the speed color filters and other things so a final check whether the video is working or not Things look fine to me so I'll now just go ahead and click on quick export select any format which I need and I export it exporting can take a bit of time just because of the fact that you know you need to integrate all these frames together to create a video so I'll try to keep this part small and we can skip over this On the other hand, I have already created a video for you. So if you see the star trail for folder itself, you can find an image or a video getting generated that is exported video, but I've already created a video for you guys so that you can get to see what it generates. And that's all. In a few easy steps, you can generate your star trail images. Hope you like this.